This question will again require us to calculate probabilities for a standard normally distributed random variable here called Z. So let's sketch the PDF. It centers around zero as it has a mean of zero. So now the first question is if you have that the probability Z large or equal to Z naught is 0 0.05, what is the value for Z naught? So we'll just sketch Z naught and basically what we know is that the probability that Z is larger than that value is 5%. So how do we find out what Z naught is? Now if we look at the uh, standard normal tables we can get probabilities of this type smaller than something. And usually we are given the Z naught and then we can read off the probability. Now however we have the probability and we need the Z naught. So we have the green bit and need the red bit. So we need to read the table from the inside out to solve this problem. So we should know that this area is 0 0.95 and that's the probability that Z is smaller than Z naught and that's the sort of probabilities we can read off the table. So we always want to work with problems of the smaller than type. So probability that Z is smaller than Z naught it's 0 0.95. That's the same set naught as we are looking for. So we need to find 0 0.95 inside the table and then read off the set value. So here's our table. We want to find 0 0.95 so we have to go further down the table. So here we're getting in the right region and here we have two values 0 0.9495 and 9505. That's between 0 0.164 and 165. These are the two Z values that relate to these two values. So as our probability is between two values, okay, it was between uh, 1.64 and 1.65, we can just take the average of these two values and that's 1.645 and that will be approximately the right value, approximately the Z value that cuts off 5% in the right hand tail. Second question, what is the probability that Z is small or equal than negative Z naught and the probability of that is 0 0.025, so 2.5%. Again, we shall first sketch, we first need to understand the problem. Here's our PDF centered around zero. And now we want a probability that something is smaller than a certain value, negative Z naught, and that probability is two and a half percent. Okay, so that negative Z naught has to be a negative value. So we'll find two and a half percent in the table. Two and a half percent is here exactly. So that's negative one point nine six. So if we have instead of negative set naught, if we have negative 1.96, then we know that statement is true. The probability that set is small or equal than negative 1.96 is equal to 2.5%, and therefore set naught is actually 1.96. So that's the solution to the second question. Third question we have a probability that Z is larger or equal to negative Z naught but smaller or equal to positive Z naught and that probability is 95%. So as uh, customary by now we start with an initial sketch of the PDF centered around zero. Now the first thing to note that makes our problem easier is to realize that we're looking at something that's symmetric around zero. So we're looking at negative Z naught and plus Z naught. So we have these two values. They're equally apart from zero. And we know that the probability to land between these two values is 95%. So that leaves us with two little bits, this bit and this bit. So we know that together these two red bits should be equal to 5% because all areas added together should be 1. But since we are looking at a symmetric problem, we also know that each of these areas should be 2.5%, half of 5%. And in the previous question, we know which value cuts off 2.5%. It's negative 1.96 on the left hand tail and since we're having a symmetric distribution it will be 1.96 on the positive tail. So we didn't actually have to consult the table anymore, we, we solved everything already.
okay but that was easy because it was symmetric so z is 1.96 lastly we were asked to check our results in excel and that's a very useful skill to have so we'll start with the first problem well, we figured out that the probability that Z is smaller than 1.645 is 95%. So let's go to Excel. We'll have three cells here, Z0, probability that Z is smaller than Z0 and larger, but we'll use that later. So we started out with 1.645, so we'll check our result first. That's the most straightforward thing. Here we need a formula, calculate the normal probability. So go to the formula and the one you're looking for is norm dist okay so you can of course look for this search for that um, I just happen to know it so norm dot dist for normal probability then there are a number of inputs you need X that is the Z value you're looking for um, then you need to specify the mean and standard deviation of your distribution not in one and if you want a cumulative probability you type in one or true in the last input click OK and what you get is that indeed the probability that Z is smaller than 1.645 is 95% approximately and uh, probability that it's larger than Z0 is about 5% okay so we realized the 1.645 was just an approximation pretty good though so what if we want to solve the problem the other way around so here we sort of confirmed our solution but we started out saying we know a probability of 0.95 and we want to know what z value cuts off 0.95 of the probability so then we need to go to the norm.inf function that inverts remember we wanted to read the table inside out and the inf does that function so probability mean and standard deviation and we are given a value of 1.6 or about 1.645 but not quite so that would be the exact solution so that's correct what about the second problem we want to find out negative 1.96 does that cut off two and a half percent in the tail of the probability distribution so we go up to our second bit we say 0.025 we want to know which probability cuts off two and a half percent and indeed it's one negative 1.96 and that was of course the solution we uh, we found out previously so that means we've confirmed our solutions using excel